Hey students, it's Ms. Norris. Today's video is about what makes something a good or bad sample. Think about what the word sample means. In math, the word samples and population come up when you're doing research, when you're studying something. Population is everyone or everything that you're interested in. And the sample is a small group. And then a subject is just one person or one thing in the population. A good sample is representative, but a bad sample is too small or is biased. We're going to do four examples to see if a sample is good, if it's representative, or if it's bad, it's biased. Example one, the nutrition department wants to know the school lunch preferences of the K-12 students in Brentwood. So they survey 100 kindergartners from all eight elementary schools in Brentwood. Do you think this is a good representative sample or is it biased? This sample is biased because kindergartners are probably more picky eaters, so it doesn't represent students of all ages. Example two. Miss Job wants to predict the winner of a school election. So she randomly selects 200 students to ask about their votes. Pause the video. Do you think it's going to be a good or bad sample? This sample is good. It's representative because she's randomly selecting students. She's not just picking one type of student. Example three. You want to know what is the average amount of time Edna Hill Middle School students spend watching YouTube each week. So you and your friends ask every 10th student exiting the school today. Do you think this is a good or bad sample? The sample is good. It's representative because you're likely to ask all different kinds of students. And since you're asking every 10th student, you'll probably get a lot of kids. Last example, a company wants to know what percent of middle school students enjoy going to the movies. So they ask every fifth person they encounter at the streets of Brentwood. Pause the video. Do you think this is a representative or biased sample? This sample is biased because we are only interested in students, not people in general. If you ask at the streets of Brentwood, you're likely to get all kinds of people. Also, people at the streets are more likely to be moviegoers because there's a movie theater right there. So your information is not going to represent all middle school students. So biased or bad samples focus on a type of subject or they don't represent the population or they are too small. And we don't want biased samples. We want representative samples to get good information about the whole population. Bye, guys.